the one and only Leo Biaz. Hey, Leo. I'm excited to be back, my man. Uh, it was nine days in Vegas. We got stuck in the desert, and we had a little hangover remix out there, man. Um, I wore a wig to school once, and they said no headgear will allow. <laughs> um... How did the, did spider they, whip Was tights. it obvious that it was a wig? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was, was having a fun. Wig. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we have them on the show, and this is what makes them fun. You're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. Do you want to relive the golden days of Stockton? Join Nate Knott on Stockton Alive every first and third Monday at 6 p.m. Tune into the voice of Stockton.org. Hello, welcome to Chef Tobias Cooks, here where we have kitchen conversations with professional chefs, cooks, home cooks, bakers, oh, and people that just can't cook. So join us every week for our kitchen conversations and learn a thing or two. And I don't burn nothing in my kitchen. This is Darius Oliver, and you're listening to 92.1 KXVS, the voice of Stockton. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. KXVS, the voice of Stockton, presents Kitchen Conversations with Chef Tobias Cook and your host, Chef Tobias Cook. All right, all right. Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for coming back and joining us on our second segment. This segment, I have food for you. I do. I have food. But it's a little twist today because I do have a guest today. Yay! Go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Alicia Perry. Yay! <laughs> That's the audience. All right. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So, yes, my name is Alicia. I am the assistant director of the community involvement program at the University of the Pacific. So if you have children in high school and they want a scholarship and retention program, contact us at CIP at Pacific.edu. My other hat is I am the executive director, janitor, all the above <laughs> for Three C's organization, which is a nonprofit here in Stockton, California. All right, so we have Three C's in the house. How can they get in contact with you, real quick? So what you can do to contact Three Seeds is info at threeseeds.org, and that's all spelled out: T H R E E S E E D S. Dot org. All right. Thank you, Miss Alicia. Thank you so much. You mm -hmm. and I know each other from various places, yes. but the number one place we know each other from is Delta College. Yes, we are alums. Yes, Whoa. yes. So Love we was thanks. going to Delta College. We both um, decide to go back. Um, had the kids, had the family. We yes. went back to college yes. and uh, made it happen. Right. Yes. Yes. So true story. I. <laughs> This is it. I'm going to share this. Can I share this real quick, Governor Dunn? How I met Miss Alicia? Away. Okay, I'm, I'm going to share it. So I will see Alicia all the time on campus, right? Mm. And I will speak to her. I will speak to you. Mm -hmm. And she was kind of like, who is this girl <laughs> speaking to me? But I was very persistent. Yes. It was like years later. Mm -hmm. Years later, I would still speak to her because our kids went to the same school. Yes. And we saw each other not at our school, but yes. we saw each other at Out their the school. Mm -hmm. Then we saw each other at Food for Less. Mm -hmm. We saw each other at Target. We saw each other in the community. Because mm -hmm. not only did we go to school together, but we lived in the same community. Come find out we lived like... Like what maybe two three blocks away from each other and then our kids went to school and our daughters were best friends yep. so she had no choice but to be my friend to right? love her yeah <laughs> <laughs> then come find 
finding out we were related. To love her even more. That is just craziness, <laughs> right? So now I have officially, you are in my life. Yes. Forever now, right? Forever. All right. So let's get to it. So Miss Alicia has this wonderful program. Tell them about the vision board real quick. So basically last, what, two weeks ago, yes. we did a vision board <laughs> workshop and mm -hmm. the chef attended. She was awesome. Oh. And her daughter, <laughs> OMG. So we're doing another one on mm -hmm. the 25th, which is a couple of Mondays from now. But what it is, is it's a vision and an action board workshop mm -hmm. so not only are you doing your vision board you are telling us the actions that that you're going to take to do what's on this board and it's awesome so basically like chef hers was so deep i'm sitting there going Whoa. governor Whoa. Don, you believe that you believe it that? was deep it was of course, deep of course. I almost shed a tear when she's talking about dimensions. I was like, wow, dimensions, yeah. So, yeah, so if you guys uh, want to come to the Vision and Action Board workshop, it is on our Facebook page at 3Cs.org under events. And RSVP and come and have fun. All right. So, yeah, so we're going to be talking about that as well. And then we're going to be talking about a 3Cs organization as well. So, why are you here on a cooking show? Let's talk about it. Okay. So, okay, let me tell you why I'm really here. <laughs> so, at the vision board, right, I was kind of like rushing, right? So, I went to Safeway, and I got this little sad little pitiful tray, right? Got so, it, she showed up with a pre-made <laughs> Food tray. Yeah. A, t a $28 tray of $3 worth of vegetables. Yes, food? and no. she knew that yeah. chef was coming. Yeah. She knew chef was coming. But I, I didn't have any way to, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't have any way to, like, prepare. She so I was like, bam. She was doing her Bam, best. here you go. Yes. Eat that cheese, that salami, those olives. I'm good. Bam. And, and mm -hmm. being the person I am, I opened it up and mm -hmm. I arranged it really nicely really and, and put it out. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to have you come on The Voice of Stockton Ooh. with Chef Tobias Cooks. And I am going to show you how to put together an inexpensive mm -hmm. nutrition mm -hmm. Very quick. Yes. Food tray. Yes. Okay. So yes. can we get started? Let's go. All Let's right. All right. So here we are. It's really simple. So just like I've done before with the smoothies, I've done before with the sandwiches. And last week I did before with the hors d'oeuvres. Basically, utilize the foods that you have. Um, oftentimes people think that they have to go to the store. Mm -hmm. They have to get this. They have to get that. And they end up spending more money and they don't even eat it all. Mm. Choose the foods that you eat. Here's my rule. Choose the foods that you eat and then add on a few, few foods mm -hmm. that you have not tried. Awesome. So then that way you can stick within your budget. Mm -hmm. You can stick within what everyone in your home eat. But then also you introduce people in your home to a little bit of new stuff. Mm -hmm. If they don't like it, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. And if you like it, they're going to like it, right? Yay, new <laughs> stuff. So let's start off with something very simple here. Um, so you could do this the night before. Okay. This is really easy to do. See, I'm um, not even thinking about that. Yeah, so yeah. you could get these little party trays here, mm -hmm. and we could get these at the 99 cent store, mm -hmm. the Dollar Tree. Don't bring the glass ones like I have, like mm -hmm. I have the, the fancy glass ones. Mm, let's just let's just get, stick to something simple. So we have our nice little tray here. Yes. Um, usually when you walk in the grocery store, we walk into the fruits and vegetable part, yes. right? Now we could get carried away with fruits and vegetables. Yeah, now yeah. I love bananas, mm -hmm. but the thing about bananas is when you cut them, they mm -hmm. go brown, mushy, yeah. and they go mushy, mm -hmm. and then they're not very appetizing. So at the end, you're left with bananas. Mm -hmm. However, what I do with the bananas is I'll take them, put them in a bag, take them home put them in a the freezer and i use them for smoothies okay so good. if you do do bananas just think that you can utilize those bananas again for your smoothies okay no banana left behind <laughs> Okay, got I it. I love it. Okay. Cucumbers. Okay. Cucumbers is great. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, the uh, English ones. Uh, I like the other ones, but I prefer these mm -hmm. if you're going to use a vegetable plant. Uh, they're very uh, affordable mm -hmm. and also nutritionist as well. The kids love them. The adults love them. Um, they're 
easy to chew, uh, easy to put on a paper towel, mm -hmm. on a plate. Um, and usually these go really quick. So when you purchase these here, I recommend that you put these in a refrigerator, okay. get them really nice and cool. And a lot of people think that you have to have this fancy way of chopping them. Actually, you don't. Look, you chop it in the middle. This is a real easy cut for the camera to come back. Let's just do it sideways like this. There oh. is a name for it, but I'm not going to give you the whole chef cookbook name. Okay. <laughs> just chop them just like this. Look how cool this is. It's pretty. Just like this. Mm -hmm. You have the little end piece. Put the end piece up here. Grab the whole thing. Put it down just like this. And you could do this the night before. It'll take you no more than maybe three minutes to do that. After you do that, you can wrap it with saran wrap. Mm. Another way you could do it is classic, is circles. You could get the kids to do this. I will make them kind of nice and thick. Mm -hmm. The reason why I will do that, so that people could take at least about one or two and they could get a good feel for it. Got it. So if you do it like this, just put it on here like this. It doesn't even have to be in order. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just put it up. You can put that in the corner like okay. this. Mm -hmm. Another way, which is very, very popular, um, a lot of people don't know that they could do this, but if you have a pillar, you could run it down on the sides. But if you like me, that use a knife all of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure you keep it down like this. So... Let's do it like we do a potato. So you got one here, and it doesn't have to be fancy. Please don't think that you have to be fancy. You don't. That's the beauty of it. So we like to call this a zebra cut. See, look at this here. Mm -hmm. And then slice it. Nice. Just like this here. And then you want to take it, so great, Chef. Take it, it does, huh? and go right down the middle again. Look how easy that was. Mm -hmm. You think you could do this? Yes. And look how this, look. And you got some nice, cute little half, little ones just like this here. And it doesn't have to be super, 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 super in order. Just put it on here and look at that. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice. Um, it looks good. Smells good, mm -hmm. like Dr. Don says. Mm -hmm. And... You could do it the night before, put it in a refrigerator. And the thing about this is that it has like the liquid, like a little bit of the water in it. So your guests can stay dehydrated. They don't feel like they have to drink a whole bunch of water mm -hmm. or soda or whatever. You could just put that out there and they could just nibble on it as Got well. It. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one is carrots. So I don't want to get too controversial. <laughs> Don't email, don't inbox me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to put up one of those signs, huh? like do not. Disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Yeah. I buy bag carrots. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> A lot of people like the, ba the, the baby carrots. Mm -hmm. mm. No. Just the bag carrots. Mm -hmm. Just get a bag of carrots. Okay. Buy a bag of carrots. Don't you don't have to go for the fancy shredder carrots. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do the baby carrots. If you want to do the shredder carrots, that's another recipe. Mm -hmm. so, but just buy a bag of carrots. How much a bag of carrots costs? Like ninety eight cents. Yeah. Go to the dollar store. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you do? A lot of people get the carrots. And they get the pillar and they peel off. No, that's no, the good no, stuff, no. right? That's the good part okay. about mm -hmm. it. No, just wash it really, really well, mm -hmm. as we okay. did. Yeah, and take this part. Oop, one ran away, but that's okay. And a lot of people are intimidated by this, but please don't be. Oh, uh -oh. Okay, we got it. Okay. <laughs> This is live, right? Hey, I'm gonna have to bring my little bucket, huh? Come on. Come down like right. Chef to Box Cook slash housekeeper. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Yes. See how I just took off the little tops like that? Mm -hmm. It's just real easy. You don't even have to have a super, super big knife. And the kids can even do this. Mm -hmm. All right, and then line them up. See how I just lined them up just like this? Yes. And this just grab it and just cut it. And I will leave them kind of chunky. Mm -hmm. Being that you're sitting there, you're thinking about what you're doing, you're cutting out paper, 
you're imagining yourself mm -hmm. um, in, in your vision boards. And you could just sit there and just nibble on a nice little piece of carrot. Nice. It gives you something to do. Yeah. It um, helps your mind going. It takes the place of a pencil. It takes the place of a pencil. Mm -hmm. And by you doing that, it actually helps you focus mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So while I was doing that, Governor Dunn, thank you very much. Appreciate that. So tell me some of the things that people do at the vision board party. So basically, everyone finds what they want to have achieved by next year. Mm -hmm. So we give it like a year limit. Some people do their whole life, but you have to take small steps. So I try to keep it on a year. So basically, they get that information, put it on a board, and... Um, along with aspirations and affirmations. And then at the end of the actual board, that looks so good. At the end of the board being done, they do a presentation of their board and the meaning behind their board and the action to achieve these goals that are on the board. All right, so look at this. It's pretty. We're right here in Lodi. We're in the wine country. We can get some nice grapes. Mm -hmm. I personally like the seeded grapes. Mm -hmm. um, however, for your event, mm -hmm. uh, you will have younger children there. Mm -hmm. So I will recommend that you get the seedless grapes gotcha. for that. But look, you just put the grapes right on here. It's so pretty. Yeah. And then whatever vegetable, um, whatever f vegetable, whatever fruit that you have, uh, you could put some strawberries on here. You could do some celery. Mm -hmm. Celery is awesome mm -hmm. okay if you want to do something a little spicy you could do raw bell peppers mm. i think we have someone that didn't like the raw bell pepper and i kind of made a fan i made the fan yeah. but yeah you could do some uh, uh bell pepper you could even uh boil some potatoes and mm -hmm. cut the potatoes and put it on there so look it's it's all about your imagination yes. of how you want it so look this is a nice platter it's really inexpensive i spent five dollars and 48 cents just mm -hmm. on this alone and then if you add a dollar mm -hmm. to the tray mm -hmm. so you just saved yourself how much <laughs> about 14 dollars <laughs> yeah yeah and it's real easy and simple and this tray this tray right here could be comfortably about 15 people gotcha because here's the thing the vegetables are nice and cut mm -hmm. hearty they can see that mm -hmm. people tend to usually pick the grapes mm -hmm. they don't tend to take a lot of grapes right. and the carrots your brain is going to tell you that i have to eat this carrot right so they're going to get like one or two right so that's going to take care of about 10 to 15 people right there because awesome. instead of them grabbing a whole bunch of food mm -hmm. now you're telling them you don't need as much right enjoy it exactly eat it pick it up and enjoy it and, and go back to doing the, the vision board. board and it's healthy and it's healthy yes. and you could do this the night before yes wrap it up put it in the refrigerator and put a do not eat yes <laughs> i got twins yes mm -hmm. yeah. do not eat yes okay mm -hmm. and the great thing about this that i like is the leftovers mm -hmm. you could use it for your smoothies mm. it's just that simple last week's episode <laughs> <laughs> that was last week episode okay so let's check let's take this out here okay. i don't know where i'm gonna put it at i guess we can figure it out okay, sure. all right here we all are right. Okay, so moving on. I had a wall of milling here. I was going to cut the wall of milling up. Yes. But, you know, I don't think I need to cut a wall of milling up on TV, right? So It could be fun. It could be fun. It could be challenging. It could it be could, bloopers. It could be bloopers. We had a blooper. <laughs> it, could, it, could, it could go that way. All right, so next, let's do something a little bit more. Um. So, Miss Alicia, you yes. have a food allergy. Yes. And what is the food allergy? So, I'm allergic to everything. No, <laughs> no, I am allergic to seafood and tree nuts. And when you say tree nuts, what so do you mean? So, peanuts, walnuts, nut, 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 yes, nuts. Really? Mm -hmm. So, like, no almond milk? Nope. Pine nuts? Nope. Sucks, Sucks. yeah. Cashews? Nope. Nope. What about... Roasted 
Haven't tried it. They're, they're not nuts. They're okay, beans. so the thing about <laughs> having allergies is I limit myself of uh -huh. what I eat because okay. I don't want to even go through the the, the asphyxiation. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I just limit myself from the beginning. Okay, yeah. cool. You know, Zalon, my mm -hmm. oldest daughter, mm -hmm. I tell this story all the time. She's 25 now. But just imagine when she was seven years old. That was a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, she has food allergies, and at the time, um, I would have to take her to the emergency rooms yeah. and they didn't know. I mean, we didn't know about celiac disease. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about food allergies. Mm -hmm. So one doctor in particular, when she was about nine said, you know what? Take her off everything, mm. fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. what? So guess what? I had to learn how to make food for yeah. her. I had to learn how to make wheat free, mm -hmm. um, fish free, mm -hmm. nut free. Food. Yeah. So that's how I got into learning how to bake gluten free mm -hmm. and bake vegan. And that also led me on the road of vegan um, eating fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So another thing is hummus. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. daughter loves hummus, but the, the sesame seed yes. that is in the hummus sometime. Well, now that she's older, mm -hmm. she can do whatever she wants, mm -hmm. but <laughs> Before, she couldn't have the hummus because of the tahini, mm -hmm. the sesame seed. I grew up on hummus. I mm -hmm. grew up on Middle Eastern food as well. So this is a little trick of the trade. Okay. Um, you could do hummus. If you want, you can get the hummus bean or you could boil the hummus or whatever. You could buy it in a can. Mm -hmm. I've even seen hummus frozen. The frozen ones. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you can do the canned ones. I will do cumin. Here mm -hmm. you are. So we have cumin. And cumin is C-U-M-I-N. Look it up. It's a, a Indian spice mm -hmm. and uh, a Middle Eastern spice. And it has a really, really great earthy mm -hmm. flavor to it. And then garlic. Mm, it smells like chili. <laughs> It is. You could use yes. cumin for chili. Yes, yes ma'am. Now, you could do fresh garlic mm -hmm. or you could just do dried garlic as mm -hmm. well. Depends on your day, what's going on. And then I'll do lemon juice mm -hmm. from a real lemon. Yes. Um, and pepper to your taste. Yes. Okay, so the hummus, we just have some canned hummus. And the blender is back, Governor. Nice. The blender is back. So what I do is I'll open up the can. Mm -hmm. I'll drain the um, liquid from the can. I will keep one can that has liquid in it. So what's in those cans? Oh, yeah. Okay. So the cans is the hummus. The ingredient is good. Uh, the Garbanzo. beans, Garbanzo salt, beans. and it has no allergy or anything like that Yay. so that's very important that mm -hmm. we have to pay attention to mm -hmm. as well a lot of times with beans i found out with like refried refried beans mm -hmm. and baked beans in particular i will always get vegetarian mm -hmm. so if i do get baked beans in a can um, i actually like to make my beans but we live in a microwave society right. <laughs> I will always get the vegetarian beans. So that's a great way to look out. You don't have to be a vegetarian to get the vegetarian beans. Got it. That just means that you can protect yourself mm -hmm. from a lot of the um, cross-contamination cross -contamination yes. ingredients. Yes. And then if you do have someone that has allergies, mm -hmm. that's a great way too. Mm -hmm. So usually what I'll do is I'll take the beans, I'll put them in a bowl, I'll put hot water on it, and then I'll drain it. Um, or you could just put it in, make sure you save a little bit of the liquid. Mm -hmm. So then we'll add a little bit of the cumin. We'll do a little bit of the lime, the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I did not put any oil in it because a lot of the oil, when it says vegetable oil, soybean it's actually oil. soybean mm -hmm. oil. So that can be an allergy mm -hmm. as well. Um, so you will have to do olive oil. Yes. Unfortunately, sometimes some olive oil agitate allergies as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to do an oil, you could do uh, sometimes avocado oil will work or mm -hmm. grapeseed mm -hmm. um, works just as well. What about sunflower oil and um, well, it depends. Sa sunflower oil. It depends on the allergy as right. well. Mm -hmm. You know, the sunflower, that, those are seeds as well, nuts as well. Um, so that's probably uh, sometimes another uh, trick that you can do is um, what I like to do water 
<laughs> that usually works mm -hmm. a little bit. We might have to use it by that. Okay, so there we are very few people allergic to water. I hope yes. not. In a bubble. <laughs> I haven't met one yet. All right, so we're going to do the blender again. Right. Can we do the blender again? Let's do the blender away, Chef. Let's do the blender. Fire it up. Let's see. All right. Okay. I didn't bring my mop and bucket, so uh -oh. let me. What happened with the blender? What happened well, before? Actually, it worked good. We, okay. we just hoping we have the same luck. This is live, right? Yeah. All right. So it looks like it's coming along. All right. So generally, generally you can do this with oil, olive oil, um, it adds a really big richness to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the way that I used to do it for my daughter growing up. So please don't inbox me saying, I have a better recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? The, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, so this is a recipe that I use yes. uh, for my daughter that also had food allergies as well because I did not want to spend my day at the ER. Yes. <laughs> The EpiPen um, or yeah, yes, Benadryl. That, yes. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. So there we go. Just get it in real good. And you could do this the night before. I had a higher one somewhere. Was that a post? All right. <laughs> I think we got it right. <laughs> It looks like it's coming along well. It's blending. It's empty blending. Empty space. Empty space. Was the other camera? There we go. All right. Okay. So live TV is coming up. So look at that. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay. you could do it in a food processor. Mm -hmm. I just sometimes go to my blender. <laughs> a little bit better. Okay. Did Whatever I have works. A, did I have a bowl? I thought I had a bowl. There's a small. No. I didn't bring it in here. I'll be right back. I'll get it. Actually, I can use this bowl. Okay, commercial break. <laughs> here we go. All right. Thank you, Governor Don, a.k.a. Sous Chef. All right. So... See how nice and creamy this came yes. up? And um, usually I didn't even put any olive oil or any oil or anything like that. Because you know why? Because I good. use the juice from the bean. Mm -hmm. I use a little bit of room temperature water mm -hmm. and it just emulsifies it as well. So you could do this two days before, okay. three days before um, uh, and uh, put it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and you're ready to go for your event, right? Write that down. Okay. That smells great too, Chef. And it's thank you. And it's really easy. See how simple that was? Yeah. So that, you, what about spices or seasonings or flavor or salt or pepper or any of that kind of stuff? I know that when you have allergies, you do want to stay away from like dye foods, like red dye yeah. is one. Paprika um, might give mm -hmm. it some color. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, also... Uh, you do have to be careful, like, with the soy sauces and stuff like that. So I tend to just stick with salt, pepper, uh, and then find the uh, your Indian store. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. If you have a local Indian store, please go to it and pick up some fresh spices. Yes. And a lot of those are fresh. Um, they, they, they're not pre-packaged or anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're open mm -hmm. and that will help with your allergy as well too. Okay. Uh, but you know, the simple, simple food, you want to taste it. Nice. You want to taste what the food is. Nice. You know, you want to taste what you eat, even though I am a chef, but you know what? I like to taste my food. Mm -hmm. I like to taste exactly what it is. All right. So here we have. Hummus, hummus, then you could do this, right? I sure can. It's real easy and simple. And have you on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just left the store, and uh, I saw about that much hummus right there selling for four ninety nine. dollars Yes. Yeah. And so the cans, it varies. Usually they're about a dollar. Mm -hmm. Depends on the brand you get. Mm -hmm. And uh, the season, I, I can't break the food cost. It's probably like less than a penny for the season I just right. used. Mm -hmm. And then, so this will probably cost about, what, $3.25 for a big old. Uh, this one here was yeah. about 
Three cup, four or five cups, yeah. Yeah, so you can make this. So mm -hmm. you have like three or four times that amount still yes. in the blender. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you could take some home, mm -hmm. so you can have some for lunch. The kids can have some. Right. Um, and then if you want to add stuff to it, you can add different things to it as well. All right, so we have the platter there, mm -hmm. and then we have the hummus. Yeah. So this could fit. This could feed about fifteen people. Look at that. It's real easy, mm -hmm. real simple, didn't cost a lot, mm -hmm. and people will be satisfied. Yes. All right, so that's one down. Let's put that there. The other one um, that I wanted to talk about real quick, a lot of people don't understand this, but eggs. Mm -hmm. Eggs is a great filler. Another thing about eggs is uh, you will have your vegetarians mm -hmm. that will come and visit you. Um, so a lot of times... You could just boil eggs. Eggs, it doesn't cost that much. Um, at Costco, you could get like 24 eggs. You have another cup? You could get like 24 eggs for like maybe less than $4 for two dozen. Mm -hmm. um, so just boil the eggs the night before. Put them in the refrigerator. Put a little thing on it and look just like this. Yeah. It's real simple. Mm -hmm. It's real easy. Don't, don't make it complicated. And this project is not, uh, it won't take a lot of uh, time yeah. from you to do it, okay? So it's just, um, you could do this entire project for like 45 seconds. And also you could do the project where you can have extra food for home as well. Mm -hmm. So then you come home. You don't have to cook dinner that night. Nice. Yay. <laughs> All right. So we have the eggs here. Mm -hmm. I love eggs. I did eggs last week. We did the devil yeah, eggs. eggs. Yes, mm -hmm. that turned out great. Yes, and is. also, like I said, you'll have vegetarians that will come mm -hmm. and visit you. The hummus I did is allergy free mm -hmm. and it's also vegan as well. Right. So if you have your vegans, they could get the beans with mm -hmm. the fiber and the protein and that would be filling as well. Plus that, that garbanzo bean also called a chickpea is one of the most nutritious beans uh, recommended even by Dr. Sebi from the Dr. Sebi diet. So yes. A great R. bean. R. Dr. Yes, rest in peace. Okay, so cheese. Okay. People think you have to get a whole bunch of cheese. Mm -hmm. You do not. Just choose the cheese. In my okay. house, you got to get a whole bunch of cheese. Uh, my house, too. Oh, man. I said that if I ever won the lottery, I'm going to buy cheese. Okay. All right. So for the cheese, get a block of cheese. Look how cool this is. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Just get a block of cheese and what? Bam. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One dish down. Yes. Yeah. And so they could do this. Themselves. You can just even start it out for them. Yeah. Because what happened is when you're part when you purchase the cheese and it's already cubed, mm -hmm. it's processed. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's already been processed. Coated with Yes. And, all and sometimes stuff. it loses its uh it, it loses the moisture. Mm -hmm. So it's really dry mm -hmm. and it's cracking, cracking. it's brittle. Yeah. Sharp on the corner. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just right. buy a nice cheese. You could go to the deli, go yeah. to the grocery store, uh, and just get this is a one pound. Mm -hmm. This pound cost me three dollars and ninety eight cents. Mm -hmm. And it's in your house. You could buy two or three of them and right. just keep them. Right. Okay. So cheese is important, just a nice block of cheese. Put a plastic spoon in it and boom, and there them, you go. Let them do it. All yeah. right. So this is one. Mm -hmm. Another thing, I'm going to speed up the process a little bit, is bread. We have to have our carbs. I know sometimes you're allergic to certain types of bread, mm -hmm. but that's okay. There's like a million different kinds of breads out there. You got gluten-free. Mm -hmm. You got rice bread. Um, what I did is I picked up a croissant. Yes. Like who doesn't like a good croissant? Yes. These are kind of big croissants, mm -hmm. and they're real good <laughs> and juicy. But mm -hmm. you know what? You could do this. You could break them apart just like this. Just use your fingers. You could get your daughter to do this. Mm -hmm. Just break it apart. And this goes a long way. Interesting. Because now they could just come and grab some fruit, grab some vegetables. They could grab an egg, grab some hummus, mm -hmm. and guess what? A piece of bread. That's it. Sometimes we do crackers and stuff, but the honesty about crackers, I love a good cracker. Crackers are expensive. Yes. They're very expensive. And the thing about crackers is they get wasted a lot. And you can't really do anything with them afterwards. Because right. they're out the package. With bread, mm -hmm. 
I if I have leftover bread, mm-hmm. guess what? It's going to go in the oven when mm-hmm. I get home and I'm going to make some croutons. Okay. Nice. It's just that simple. And you like can that. use it you can use a crouton in your salads, you can use it in your soup. Mm-hmm. You can even use crouton, you can bake a chicken and put it on top and put it in the oven, but that's another story. All right. And you know how much you know how expensive croutons are. Yes. Man, this is just dried bread. Right. And being Probably old bread. And being that you already have purchased your garlic and cumin, mm-hmm. you just toss this in a little oil mm-hmm. um, or a little butter for you. Mm-hmm. After that, add a little bit of the seasoning on it. Mm-hmm. Put it in the oven mm-hmm. about five minutes on 350, and you got some beautiful croutons. Croutons. Mm, nice. Yes. So not only are you feeding people, but you're saving money, mm-hmm. and um, you can just do that. Okay. So for the 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 one more, Governor John, close your eyes. We have a roasted chicken. Oh, oh no. yeah. Sorry. Chicken. So look, this is it. I'm a chef. I roast about four to six chickens a week. Okay. A minute. <laughs> I do that for my house. I'll go to Costco's and I'll get the the big chickens. I'll buy like I'll buy those. Um, the reason why I do is because I like the bone in the chicken, mm-hmm. and I also like to have the broth from the chicken mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. And also, it cuts down on process. Got it. Mm-hmm. it cuts down on processed food. Mm-hmm. Roasted chicken. It's not that hard. Google it. Right. It's easy. Right. It really is that easy. So he said, why do I want to have a whole chicken at an event? That doesn't make sense. A whole chicken. Okay. Guess what? It's not going to be a whole chicken okay. when you get through with it. All right. Because you have a knife. Okay. And you just going to cut it. <sighs> okay. Look at that. Mm. And just cut it like this. And put it right here on the side, just like that. Mm. And you can do this once you get to the event. The chicken could cool down. Or you can have it overnight. And you get, the, you got, everyone get it. Everyone looking, you just cut it. And slice it up. Yep, slice it here. Put it right here. Put it right there. And bam, you could do the entire thing. Put it on a platter. And guess what? You've just saved money. Because lunch meat is very expensive. Yes, not only is lunch meat very expensive, but it has a lot of preservatives mm-hmm. in it. Yes. It has a lot of things. And another thing is chicken. You don't have to worry about allergies. Mm-hmm. Some people are allergic to chicken. I'm sorry. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But a lot of people don't eat pork. Yeah. A lot of people don't eat beef. Mm-hmm. This way you can save your money. And guess what? After you finish with it, you can put it in a pot. Make some broth, Mm -hmm. put the leftover carrots in there, Mm -hmm. get some croutons, and you got yourself a nice little soup for the next day, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't cost that much. By the time you do lunch meat, you're going to spend a lot of money on lunch meat, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, look, here's another thing. You got the chicken, you got the bread, you got the eggs, you got the hummus, you have the fruits and vegetables. You have the cheese. You're doing pretty good, right? And the whole meal. Yes, you are. <laughs> For cheap, inexpensive, too. And guess right, what? Le- less than the cost. Or everything we're looking at here is just like one yeah. big vegetable it's tray. It's less than the tray that it's I purchased. Yeah. It is. And on top and of that, amazing. you're going to have happy people. Mm-hmm. Their, vision, their vision is going to be great. Right. And they're going to come back to other events. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to have food left over as well. Okay, so for the finale of it, they're like, what about the desserts? Yeah. I didn't choose a cookie because of the allergies. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I did is I chose these beautiful pastries Yay. right here. I like these here because they yeah. have like the little heart yeah. little thing. And then I do something simple. You could put strawberries on these. You could put cherries on it. If not, just leave it like this. Chocolate chips. Dark Ooh. chocolate. Mm. Okay. So, okay. I'm watching. It's that's it. Oh, okay. Have a cookie. Thank you. Now have a chocolate chip. Bam, drop it on the cookie. <laughs> no, uh-huh. eat it. Just eat the chocolate. Uh-huh. Now put the pastry in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> it's just like that. It's kind of fun. Is it, yeah. is it blending? Is it blending? Yeah. It's more than blending. It's satisfying. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can have strawberries, mm-hmm. get chocolate chip. Mm-hmm. Some people want to wash their weight. They don't want too many sweets. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with dark chocolate. That's right. Nothing wrong. 
a dark beautiful chocolate. dark chocolate. It's antioxidant. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. And it's inexpensive. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you could get the vegan chocolate ones, too. Mm. So if it's dark enough, it mm-hmm. could consider a vegan. Okay. Or you could just buy the vegan ones. It's real simple. It's real easy. You don't have to have this big cake. You don't have to do all these cookies. Right. And you don't have to do all these crackers. Right. You could do something really simple. Okay. That's it. Got a it. good pastry, some chocolate chips, and boom. Got that it. satisfy the sweet tooth right there. All right. Right, I think we're done, right? Did I get all the food in? Because I had a lot. Yes. <laughs> Let me get the trees. I'm, I'm Governor Dodd, are, are, you, are, you, are you pre- <laughs> I, was, I was eating. Sampling. Are you pre-sampling? It's just cookie. Huh? You told me to put the cookie in my mouth. Did I, I say that? You didn't tell me to stop. I, okay, I didn't. I, I, I said take a, a, a snap, right? Okay. All right, so let's get the fruit the fruit tray again. Oh, fruit tray. The fruit and vegetable tray. Here you go. All right. So we have the fruit and vegetable tray here. We mm-hmm. have the grapes, the carrot. Remember, buy the carrots in the in the bag. bag. In the bag. Put it in the Cute bag. Keep Cute it in the crumbers. bag. Yes. Hummus, easy. Can hummus. Leave the juice. Water, salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, lemon, blended. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Bread of your choice, whatever bread you want to do. We did croissants here. You could do gluten-free bread. You can do uh, any bread you want. These are croissants. Instead of trying to sit there and cut the bread, yeah. break the bread apart. Rip it. Rip it apart. <laughs> put it on there. Here we go, cheese. We are going to do what? By the block. Not the cute. Pre-cut. Nope. No. Yeah. Put nope. Less a, process as possible. Put yes. a plastic fork in it. Put it on something like this you get from the Dollar Tree 99 cent store. You might have something like this. Yes. Put it there. Let them go for what they know. All right. Eggs. Boiled eggs is really good, right? Mm-hmm. Just boil an egg, right? Let's take a picture. Smile. She's. <laughs> <laughs> no space. <laughs> Okay. Boil eggs. Uh-huh. You could do it the night before. Yes. Okay. And just put it there. And it's really easy. Wrap it up, put it in a refrigerator, get a box. When you're at Costco, get a box, put everything in, mm-hmm. put it in your car, and you're ready to uh, go. Chef. Yes. I'm not trying to throw a monkey wrench in the situation. Okay. I'm just looking at this watermelon over here. Oh. <laughs> What do we do about this melon? Okay, so look. Watermelon. Okay, so so look at here. I was going to cut the watermelon, okay? I really was. Chef didn't slack off. Uh I didn't slack off. I did not slack off. Okay. But there was just so much food today. It is, and I think we just didn't get to it. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Melons are great. It Mm -hmm. goes a long way. Yes. And it also adds sweetness. So if someone don't want to do dessert, Mm -hmm. actually, let me just say, at your event, Mm -hmm. I advise no dessert. Okay. Because it's going to take the concentration away from what's going on. All right. Um, Please, please listen to me. I got you. I get paid for this. I got you. I get paid at corporate events, and I advise people on what they should serve based on what clientele Mm -hmm. or people they're having. Food is nutrition to our soul. It's Mm -hmm. the gateway. You eat lots of sweets. And coffee at event, two hours you'd like this. You did. You're drained. <laughs> Energy level down. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you want to be upbeat. Mm-hmm. You you're doing some fun stuff there, right? What are we doing? Cutting out. We are cutting out magazines mm-hmm. and affirmations and and goals and yeah. Uh-huh. So you should be excited to do that. So people are asking me why do you have the plastic bags here? Um, that's another story mm-hmm. that goes back to my Louisiana roots. <laughs> When we cut the wall of millet outside, right. <laughs> we'll put it in the plastic bag and we'll cut it so all the juices could spill from there. Yeah, um, the and if the bag is really clean, you could take the juice and turn it upside down and yeah. put it on top. Put a little lemon on it and a little salt on it. And you got yourself some good wall of millet. All mm-hmm. right. So that's why it's in the bag. That's another show, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So then we have that. And then we have the chicken. I just want to stress this. Instead of blowing your budget on lunch meats that's expensive, get a roasted chicken and cut it up. Just be slicing. Yes. See, that's so pretty. 
and just cut up. You don't even have to have the big chicken like oh, this. You don't have to have it on the plate. Then. You don't have to have it on the plate. And believe it or not, this one chicken will feed up to 10 to 15 people. Because mm. look at the size right, here. Exactly. If you have this and you have that and you have that and you have that, you have yourself a little meal Mill. there. Mm -hmm. Kind of fancy. Yeah, and you're is. excited about yes. it. And you see that house on the vision board. Yes. You see that husband on the vision board and that car on the vision board and that business on the vision board. You can't ask for anything better, right? So this looks like, what does this look like? This doesn't look like a typical, your no, no. one little. My one little Safeway tray, no. <laughs> with with, with uh, one cup of carrots and one cup of celery and then. Uh, and a little thing yeah. of a olives of, in the middle. Of dry yeah. broccoli tops. This yeah. only Why are the that broccoli part? tops always so dry in that know. part? That tells you how old that tray yes. is. Right. So this only took about 45 minutes of your time. Mm -hmm. It just took. Just took a little bit more buggy exercise, mm -hmm. go around the corner, mm -hmm. pick everything up in one section, mm -hmm. come home, do it. You have food for your event. You have yes. food for your house. Yes. You have food for the next day. For the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some in, the, some in the freezer. And you save some money because yes. a lot of this stuff, it, the, the, it's really inexpensive. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're done. We save you have money. any other questions? No. I, um, I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm going to do this with you on the phone. <laughs> But yeah, this will happen. Yes, give us your information one more time. So again, my name is Alicia Perry. Find me on Facebook. However, I'd rather you find my organization, Three Seeds Org. It is www.facebook.com backslash Three Seeds Org. Go like our page. We like likes. All right. It's linked in the video. You can just uh, click the link. It's right here. Right. Okay, Chef Tobias Cooks here with Kitchen Conversation with the voice of Stockton.org. We just did a fruit platter. I think we ended up with a buffet. Yes. And I said a fruit platter, but yes. it, a, a, a platter, but it didn't work out that way, right? And you know how much I paid for this? I paid $28.92. Mm -hmm. Wow. Would Love you it. believe that? Wow. Very economical. Yes. Yes. And these little trays, I keep them. You can keep the trays and we use it. That's it. It's real simple, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, everyone, please visit Three Seeds. Support the voice of Stockton. Go to Chef Tobias Cooks, Facebook page, Instagram page, YouTube, and we will see you next week. 209 get on out and eat eat the 209 and if you're having an event this week take chef tobias uh thing just go to the store buy some food and do what make it happen put it on the table yes. all right governor don let's go <laughs> Da 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 da